All right, Moon versus Lin on Twisted Meadows. Standard map. We have seen many, many games on this. On this map, of course, a very large map. With uh, lots of potential for long games, long macro games. Also potential for your building is fast games your building is tower pushes tower rushes a map that's pretty much open to many different styles of play and Lin going to open with a blade master and moon is gonna go demon hunter so a big deviation from this day's meta where it's all about keeper of the grove in this game we're going to see a demon hunter Let's see if the orc chooses to go for a one burrow attack or a two burrow attack. Let's move forward a little bit. As we see Lane Master coming out in the field, and yeah, it's gonna be a um, one burrow attack for Lane, while Moon is building the second moon well, Anthrasol and Ancient War, so he's gonna play Anthrasis. Okay. So with Anthrasis you want to be aggressive, go for the shop, maybe try to cancel it, maybe try to cancel Burrows. Uh, this map is good for Anthrasis because it's a large map, like I said before, and Anthrasis are very fast, they can move rather quickly. Your building is complete. Our warriors have engaged but the attack for the Night Elf is going to be late, so... Is he going to do like Your building is complete. an ancient of protector push or does he just want to buy time with those antrasses to get Your building is complete. tire 2 or tire 3 units? Let's see. So far he's going for the shop, like I said, going for that cancel, he's able to cancel the shop. While the Blade Master is just uh, scouting the Night Elf expansion, but his base is walled off, he won't be able to enter. And this is going to allow Moon to save his Wisps and not have to micro them inside the Tangled Gold Mine <coughs> and stuff like that. First Antress in the field as the ground is scouting. The Demon Hunter movement. But we see a Wisp here Our moving for Moon. Sneaky Infinity. Wisp. And I guess he's going to build a protector somewhere. Oh, he's gonna go for the shop again. And he gets the shop again. No healing for Lin. And since that shop never actually went up, doesn't have a single healing um, Healing salt. So tier 2 is almost finished for Moon. Our champion has fallen. Oh, but the Demon Hunter actually falls! Blade managed to chase him out and kill him. Entire through is finished for the Orc, of course his tech was faster as we have the Torrent Totem already in production and the Shadow Hunter, but Ancient of Protector here for Moon, who's distracting, he's distracting me, who's trying to go for the Rock Golem here, for chasing the Berserker, but we have three Antresses already, applying some serious damage into the ground and the Blade is taking damage from the Crypts, so he needs to pay attention uses Windwalk to get the item and the creep and now he needs to use the Cloak of Shadows so this item coming in very handy for him and just barely saving uh, himself with the Shadow Melt thanks to the Cloak of Shadows as we see the Antrus is moving towards the Orc base there's a low HP ground and Moon chooses to go uh, Elifi chooses to go Healing Waves so this can actually backfire because we, by going healing wave, yes, you're able to save the grunt, but you don't have the damage versus the 
Huntresses, so I think that was a mistake by Lin. Choosing to save the ground, but skilling the, the heal wave level 1, which to be honest doesn't do too much. Serpent, where is level 1 are so much better? And they actually help you to hold such a type of push. Guru is shooting at the Antres. The Greater Rainbow has been invested already by Lin. As the Blade Master is low HP and this protector is uncontested, there's nothing that can shoot at this protector. The Burros are out of range. Lin doesn't have a demolisher. And those three Antresses, they're all high HP. And the Blade Master is gonna fall here! The damage is enough! And Lin loses the ground as well. Terrible mid game for Lin. But still, with the supply advantage, because Moon doesn't have too much, is investing in lures. So it's not all in, and that's the reason why Moon only has three hunters. He lost only an hunters, I think. But because he's not messing hunters, he's going for uh, Dryads, I guess. Doesn't have too many units. So this. Ancient of Protector basically is not supposed to finish the game here. He's just buying time, doing as much damage as he can, and switching to Dryads. Lowering Lin's number. So that when Moon pushes with Dryads, Lin will not be prepared because he will not have much of an army. And this protector is still up and, and Lin is choosing not to go for a demolisher. Our sacred grove Our is being desecrated. Engaged Blade Master is still not uh, in the field. Oh, okay, Blade Master is here. But everything is still on the orange side for Lin. And I think at this point his army is a little bit better than an idol army. He doesn't have the raider yet. Research finished. So he can't really ensnare the dryad. I mean I think he has the raider, I don't know if he has ensnare or not. But now this ancient of protector should fall. This moon doesn't have the mess or unit units necessary to really um, keep pressure in here. But this protector is spreading more and more damage to ground. The super low HP needs to be micro'd back, but falls nonetheless. The moon, it's still doing damage. Let's take a look at the supply now. 41 for Lin, not for moon, and 39 for Lin. Our warriors have engaged the enemy. Hero levels, 1-1 one, one for the Night Elf, and 2, Ready to ride. 2 for Lin, but it doesn't matter if you are 10 foot behind. Yeah, the numbers for Moon could compensate for the lack of levels, let's see. He has a lot of Dryads, one of them is low HP, 0-0 zero, zero upgrade, so that's not great. We're under attack. Ah! He has the wood to get at least one upgrade. Not, I don't know if he's researching it or not, I don't know if actually the... When you're researching the upgrade it shows on the replay or not. We're under attack. But look, looks like Moon is gonna be able to find one Raider kill here. That's big. The one Hunter is still not level 2 as he's sharing a lot of experience with the Beastmaster. So they will most likely level up together. One Dryad falls. Blade is moving towards level 3. But Lin doesn't have a Kodo yet. Going for Raiders. The problem is that Moon is sniping those Raiders quite efficiently. 
And the positioning for Lin is extremely bad. Just look at this fight. All of his units are blocked inside the base. He cannot use them. He needs to fight in an open space, but open space, but it doesn't have the open space. While Moon can simply focus fire using the range of the Dryas, easy kill on the Shadow Hunter, easy kill on the Raider. And the Blade Master might be next here, as Moon is trapped in, and Slim is trapped inside his own base by Moon. And what is this game? Constant pressure by Moon, killing the Blade Master. Lin against the ropes. Has to call the GG here. And leave the game. Well played by the Night Elf. Constant pressure. Uh, no hero levels, but uh, constantly fighting in a good position, in a favorable position, using the range attacks, uh, using the faster speed of the Dryads. And the orc could never get a fair fight in an open field where he could actually ensnare units, kill them, and micro. He couldn't micro anything because he was blocked between burros and stuff in his own base. GG.